Good morning. Today we need to fix our food shortage and get a bit of armor. What will we find in the neighboring village? What will we find on our mining trip? Welcome to Morning Craft, episode two. Good morning. Right, so we've got quite a bit going on now in our base. We've got a nice little home here, a couple campfires, some chairs, everything we need. There's one issue. I don't have anything to eat, and I'm getting pretty hungry. So I think we're going to need to build some farms to fix those problems. And then also, I keep dying all the time, and I'm having to use a stone axe, and my iron pickaxe is on its last legs. So what I'd recommend is that we go and get some iron, and we also get a food source set up. So where can we find some iron? And where can we find some food? Remember seeing some iron up there, so we could try and go up there. Okay. So we've got some coal here, we can grab that. There we go. And then we've got some iron here. And I'm gonna have to boost our boost our gamma in the edit so you guys can see this. We've got some iron here. We've also got some dripstone, which is always pretty useful. Okay, so let's make our way down here slowly. We've got some copper, which could be useful if we want to make some more copper trap doors. Some more iron here. We've got even more. Down here, we've got just some glow lichen. But we do have a bit more iron up here. Let's grab that. You can see the hunger's really getting to me now. Hmm, do we go any further? Yeah, I think we do. Who knows what we'll find. We do have some iron up there, but I think it's going to take too long to get to. If we keep going down, we'll probably find more. Deep slate iron. Got some lapis here. Okay. And then I think I've got a little bit too greedy, so I'm going to head back and get to work on making a suit of armor and maybe some farms as well. Oh, there it is. Okay, right. So we can break the lantern, put down our furnace, put down our lantern on top. Then if we grab half of our coal, chuck it in there, close the door. Okay, we should be able to get a suit of armor in no time. Let's put away our lapis. Definitely gonna need a new pickaxe. Let's move this. That can go there. And the lantern can go oh, on top of that. And then we move these heads. Uh, those can go there, there. And I think we have a skeleton head. There we go. Cool. Okay, so we can get ourselves our first piece of armor now. There we go. Yeah, we've got some very cool trousers. I'm just gonna leave the door open here. Hmm. Could even let in a bit of a breeze. And there we got it, some boots. Okay, so our iron should be finished, and now we can take that and finish off our armor set. So we've got our chest plate. And then we've got our hat. I haven't used a chest plate in so long because I've been used to having the elytra. Okay, let's get some sticks, like so. And there we go. A new pick and a new axe. And we'll make a sword, why not? And since we're going to be doing some farming, we may as well make a hoe. 
Uh, there we go. Cool. Okay. Good morning, all. Thanks to the hard efforts of the dog and the Woodwright family, we are all housed and warm, but we're going to be in trouble if we don't get some food soon. Dog, take Harold Fielding here to Endsgate. He was a farmer before the heap. He can assist you in finding us something to grow. Okay, now food is getting really, really low. We're on half a hunger bar. So let's grab some fields here. And we might have to use bone meal for this. Let's get some wheat, wheat planted. There we go. And if we grab some bone meal, we can hopefully grow a couple pieces of wheat before we perish. Okay, I think that's all we've got budget for with the bone mill. Alright, come on Harold, let's go. I gotta say, you look pretty under-equipped for this. Uh, we've got some more seeds, I guess we'll plant those down. Uh, why not? Where's he gone? That's just, I mean, that's impressive, but also embarrassing, like... How can you stay underwater that long? Also, like, why can't you swim? So what is your haircut? It's kind of weird. Are you following Harold? Yeah, okay. This always happens in games. There's always a really slow NPC. Oh, there's some more iron up there. It would definitely be worth grabbing if I wasn't so close to death. Come on, Harold. Okay, so what have we got in this village? We've got some chickens, okay. Oh, we've got some more pigs. We've also got some wheat over here and beetroot. So if we grab the wheat, and grab the carrots. Uh, have we got some of the beetroot yet? Okay, now we do. We can plant down some seeds. Grab a few more carrots. I don't know if they're all done yet. Oh, potatoes. We don't want to miss out on those. And we do also have some sugar cane. We've got some sugarcane beetroot, carrots, and wheat, and potatoes. Okay, I think we got everything. Still got Harold, okay. That's the most important part. Some weird guy on the hill as well. We could take out the golem, but I think they need him more than we do. Got chickens over here, and a bell. We could take the bell. I think they need it. Okay, so now we can head home with a bit more food and some hope of creating some farms. Uh, we can't really go across water with this guy because he's not, not as smart as he should be. Okay, just gonna see how far we can go before he gives up. Not too sure his wife would be happy, but. Maybe she would. Where's he gone? There he is. Far from the quiet hills of Thaldrim sits the capital of the kingdom. In this room, the council gathers to discuss the war effort, but the king is preoccupied with finding the dog that once ruled before him. Welcome all to the council meeting. We have a number of matters to discuss, namely the maintenance cost of the fleet, I propose an adjustment of 2.3% over the next six months to accommodate the plan to weave Manastrand into the sails. The Mage College ensures us that this will yield... While I appreciate the Treasury's hard work, I must ask, has there been any update on the people of the Heat? We've not heard a single thing from our previous king. There has been no news, but that is good in some sense. We could table a discussion of this in a few weeks' time. Such a matter falls low on our list of priorities. I'll shake up the fleet's training locations, see if we can cover some ground. 
and I'll personally offer a reward to any of our crew that spot anything. We'll find them chappy. Hey, and we're back. And we got a ton of stuff we can turn into a farm. Okay, so if I finish growing these, uh, we could plant down a few more wheat seeds. Where's he gone? There he is. Okay, so uh, we've run out of uh, run out of hoe in the wooden hoe. We've also run out of wheat seeds, so let's get some carrots down. Okay, and then maybe the potatoes next. Mm, there we go. And then I may as well do pumpkins as well. Pumpkin seeds. Plant those there. And there. Did I just hear a phantom? Oh, I did. My least favourite part of the game. It's just the one. There we go. That was a pretty cool splash. Okay, Harold, you don't have to follow me everywhere. Come on. Harold, you can't keep following me around, okay? You just gotta do your own thing. Like, go, go, go wherever you wanna go. No? Hang out with these guys. The hunters. Or maybe, maybe just sit by the fire for a bit. But I'm going to bed now, so you can't follow me any longer, alright? No, he's off. Where is he going? Where is he going? Well, a bit strange. Okay, time to find a bed. I think this one will do. Alright, okay, it's a new day, and we got a little bit of a possibility of some food now. I uh, still haven't planted our beetroot, so we could do that now. We've still got a few more carrots we can plant too. Okay, so I think it's time that we make some proper fields for proper crops. We're going to need a carrot field, a wheat field and probably a potato field as well. But if we plant a bit of water underneath this tree, we should be able to hydrate all the land around it. Let's see if we can give that a go. Okay, it's working. Where are you going? Hey, so that looks like one farm's done. So, in the last episode, I asked you to comment a hopeful and peaceful message, and here is the one I liked the most. Same applies for this episode, so see what you can come up with, and pop it in the comments down below. So, I then began construction on our farms, I built this carrot farm next to the spruce trees and the campfire. I then got pestered by a wandering trader and stole his llamas. And then I got to work constructing our first wheat field. I had to make a couple buckets to get this done and I trimmed it with some cobblestone walls and on the upper section I'm going to have a beetroot farm. I then cut a lovely path down the middle of it, ready to connect to a bridge. I then put the bridge in place next to our waterfall, and then neatened up the coastline with some cobble. I had to trample a lot of soil to get the dirt back to normal, and then I added a bunch of details onto the bridge to make it a little bit better looking. I had to add a few more later. But it's just some trapdoors for now. I then added in this tiny little pumpkin farm 
with a small fence around it and some room for the pumpkins to grow onto. And then I took some time to fill in our carrot farm. I added some walls around it as well, just to make it a little bit neater. I then added a few light sources around our potato farm. And then I made a composter to help me get a little more bone meal. And with that done, it was time to come back to the bridge and spruce it up a bit with some lanterns and trapdoors and these weird sort of pillars in the middle. I then added in our beetroot farm above the wheat field with some nice walls around it. And then I did a bit more composting. I added a little bit of detail around the potato farm, including a staircase up to the main path. I then added a bunch of tiny details here and there, including some fences. And then I had to fight off some pillagers, which was well, quite rude of them to turn up. And once I got rid of them, the farm was looking pretty good. And I finished it off by automating the composter. I used a couple hoppers and now it's automatic. But sometimes the weather isn't on your side. So it always helps to have a second food source, which is exactly why I built this fisherman's hut. Also built a small wheat field on the other side of the river. There you go. Those aren't from round air. They seem to be borrowing a few crops, but noon would take wheat without a proper home. They'd opt for the carrots. I'll send word to the capital. Seems like we have neighbors. And finally, our new home has a reliable food source. The river gives plenty of fish to catch, and the water lets us grow as many crops as we can. We have potatoes, carrots, sugarcane, beetroot, wheat, and more. And we've even got two llamas sitting by the door. We have a tiny fishing hut with a pretty nice ladder. And overall, I think food should be a little bit of a done deal from here. There's still a few things to do in terms of food. Namely, that's going to be getting animals. But for now, we at least have some way to get food. And we've also met the neighbours, which is always a good idea when you move somewhere new. Look, even these guys have some bread. So thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to leave you now with a daily quote. 